Hello everyone. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you are going to record your short story as an audiobook. So the first thing we're going to do is go to soundtrap.com and I'm already logged in, but you'll need to log in. So I'm going to enter the studio here. And so this is where I'm going to do all of my recording. Uh, and so the first thing you're going to see is this. It's not technically music and it's not technically a podcast, but it's more like a podcast because it's an audio recording. So I'm gonna click on that. Okay, then I'm gonna click add new track and do voice and microphones. So that's gonna by default set you off on this effect, which is the podcast effect, which is probably the one that I would keep on because that's kind of like a narrator effect. But there are some other ones that you can try, but um, Again, podcast, either podcast or clean are going to sound the best for you. So you're going to want to uh, click on this and just make sure that it's using it for you guys. I'm using um, a, a USB microphone that looks like this, but you guys probably don't have a microphone like that. It's, it's going to be using the internal um, microphone that's in your Chromebook. So just make sure that it's on that one, unless you're using your own microphone that's plugged in. Okay, so I am. Uh, this is my first mic track here, and so um, I'm gonna just make sure that I press this R so that it will be recording, and then um, I'm gonna make sure that in a separate tab I have my story open so that I can hit record, and then I can um, I can start reading off my story. So <clears throat> let's do this. Now, if you don't want to watch me record the whole story part, you can just move forward in the video. But here we go. Okay. Sorry, I forgot to say something, <laughs> sorry. Um, make sure that as you're reading this, as I said, you're reading with expression, you're um, reading with uh, passion and energy and excitement and based on um, what's happening in your story. Okay, don't sound like a robot, here we go. Walking with my thoughts by Mr. Bishop. I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. There, right in front of my eyes, was a majestic buck. I had walked this trail hundreds of times before, but never had I seen something like this. As I stood there, the buck stood his ground at the top of the hill, looking directly into my eyes. In that moment, it felt like he knew all of the world's secrets, everything that any woman... Okay, so I made a mistake there. So I meant to say man, but I said woman. So what I'm going to do... And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest, I did that on purpose just so I can show you this. I'm going to go back here and play it back. Knew all of the world's secrets. Everything that any woman... Okay, so okay. I'm going to stop so it. Made a mistake there. I'm going to stop it at... Um, in that moment. So right before in that moment, that's where I'm going to stop it. So um, in that moment, that's where I'm going to start from. So what I'm going to do on here is uh, that's right before I say in that moment. So I'm going to click edit. Actually, no, I have to click on this, this part first. Edit split region. And then I'm going to click on this and hit backspace or delete. Or I can do edit and delete there. But backspace is what I click. And so now I'm going to make sure that this is highlighted so I know where to start next time. And I'm going to hit record. Here we go. In that moment, it felt like he knew all of the world's secrets, everything that any man, woman, or animal would ever need to know. And then I snapped out of my trance as it hit me like a ton of bricks. I should be extremely careful around this buck. He may have small children nearby, and he might see me as encroaching upon his space. The last thing I wanted was to have a 300-pound buck knocking my body over the side of a cliff. Of course, the main reason I didn't want that to happen was because I wanted to survive. But I'm not ashamed to tell you that I had a fresh container of cookie dough ice cream waiting at home for me with my name on it. So I slowly backed away from the buck, carefully looking over my shoulder to ensure that I wouldn't run into anything behind me. All I wanted to do was return home. I went on this walk every morning to clear my head and to forget about the global pandemic that was affecting everyone every day. But then the strangest thing happened. As my hand continued searching behind me for obstructions on the path, I immediately found my hand brushing against soft fur. I quickly turned around, and the buck was standing right before me, once again looking at me directly in my eyes. I stood there, awestruck by what I was seeing, terrified for my life and unsure of what to do next. 
and for some crazy, bizarre reason, all I could find myself doing was speaking to this buck. I said, please don't hurt me. I won't do anything to you. I just want to continue back down the trail. The buck just stared. He did not look threatened or threatening, but he just continued looking at me. I continued, I don't go on this walk looking for trouble. This is just my time to be free and to forget about how hard things have been in the world. Please just let me go. I couldn't believe that I was talking to this buck, but it seemed like there was nothing else to do. For many moments after that, it seemed like all the buck and I had made a mistake. So I think I made a mistake right, so I'm gonna stop it right after do. So I gotta find that spot here. Like there was nothing else to do. Okay, so now I'm gonna click here, edit, split region, backspace there. I'm all set up, so let's go. For many moments after that, it seemed like all the buck and I did was stare at each other and take in this moment. But suddenly after a minute of this, I noticed something around this buck's neck. It appeared to be some sort of necklace, and it had a small box at the bottom of it. As soon as I noticed it, the buck inched closer and closer towards me, almost as if it were trying... Another mistake. That's okay. Almost as if it were inched closer and box at the bottom of it. Okay, so I'm going to stop it there, bottom of it. Stopping at the end of a sentence is always the best thing to do. Bottom of it. Where is that? Ah, here we go. Okay. As soon as I noticed it, the buck inched closer and closer towards me, almost as if it were pushing me to investigate further. I leaned in and carefully unclasped the small box that was attached to the necklace. Inside of it was a neatly folded up note. I slowly unfolded the note, intermittently looking up at the buck as I did so, and he continued to stare. I fully unfolded the note, but it blew down to the ground. I turned away from the buck to pick it up, and I began reading. Andy, you are as free as you allow yourself to be. Your thoughts tell you to be afraid. Your thoughts tell you to not know what to do during a pandemic. Your thoughts try to convince you. Your thoughts try to persuade you. But once you realize that you have the choice of believing or not believing your thoughts, you are as free as you allow yourself to be. When I had finished reading, I turned around. The buck was gone. The end. Okay, so there we have it. So now I'm just going to check, go back to the beginning here and just make sure that this is sounding okay. Okay, so you hear that click sound at the beginning there? I don't want that click. So I'm gonna click on here right after the click, split region, I'm gonna just delete that. And now I have a choice here, there's a little silence at the beginning, so I can either just keep this all where it is or I can highlight the whole thing. I think I just missed that, hold on a second. Highlight the whole thing and then I can just move it all backwards. Here we go. Walking with my thoughts by Mr. Bishop. I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. There, right in front of my eyes, was a majestic buck. I had walked this trail hundreds of times before, but never eyes. In that moment, it felt like he knew all of the so world. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to check over the little spots where I split it, um, because I'm wanting to make sure that there's no weird clicking sounds or weird breaths that I took or anything. There was nothing else to do. For many moments after that, it seemed like all the buck and I... So I heard a little click there. Many moments after that. But I'm okay with that. I'm not going to be too much of a perfectionist here. Box at the bottom of it. As soon as I noticed it, the buck inched closer and closer. Okay, so that's really good. So I'm really happy with the vocal part of this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to think to myself, in my story, are there any sound effects that I'm wanting to put in? Or is there any music that I'm wanting to put in? I would say that typically when people make audiobooks, it's just the person speaking. Um, so if you just want to have your voice, that's fine. But for some of you that are wanting to add in a little more of a creative element to it, that's totally fine. So you have some options there. So if you click this little, uh, these notes up here and backspace, you're going to see that you have a bunch of different, um, genres of which you can choose from. So I wouldn't recommend just putting in random loops here because it's just going to be the same loop over and over and it's going to get really repetitive and kind of obnoxious, honestly, to listen to. However, in sounds, 
this is where you might look for some sound effects. So in my story, it, it takes place on this trail that I actually walk every day most of the time. Um, and we call it the Bambi Trail because we saw uh, a big buck um, on that trail at one point when me and my kids first started walking that trail. And so when I picture this story, I picture being in the forest and I picture the wind blowing because I remember that happening on that day. So I'm going to type in wind and see what shows up. So let's listen to this one. So I really like that because it's a really light wind. I don't want anything that I put in here sound effect wise. I don't want it to be obnoxious and I don't want it to overtake my voice. I just want it to be kind of light in the background. So like, let's listen to howling wind. Yeah, so not, not super into that. That one doesn't fit right because that's the Arctic. It's just like almost too cold feeling. So I'm going to go with this one that I found before and I'm going to put it in. But hold on a second. Before I put it in, I don't want to put it in right at the beginning. I want to put it in as soon as I'm done with that little intro. So let's listen. Walking with my thoughts by Mr. Bishop. I really So that's right when I start my story. So that is where I want to drag it into. So I'm going to just drag it in right there. And remember that this is going to be on a new track now that I'm dragging this. And so I can adjust the volume here. So if it's too loud or too quiet, I can adjust that. So let's listen. By Mr. Bishop. I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. There, right in front of my eyes, was a majestic buck. Oh, okay, so, buck. whoops, I put in the wrong one, because I heard those birds. I don't want birds. Get out of there, birds. I'm not trying to be rude to the birds, but it's just like, I didn't ask for you. Okay, let's try this again. I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. Okay, so I messed that up. Dr. Bishop. I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. There... Okay, here we go. Dr. Bishop. I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. There, right in front of my eyes, was a majestic buck. I had walked this trail hundreds of times before, but never had I seen something like this. As I stood there, the buck stood his ground at the top of the- Okay, so you can kind of hear that wind sound in there a little bit. Remember, you might, because you might be going like, I can't hear the wind that much, but I don't want the wind to be like, Because <laughs> then you can't hear my voice, and then that's taking away from the power of the words of my story. So, um... So I like that the way that it is. You'll also notice um, when you listen to my story here. But then the strangest thing happened. It sounds a bit echoey, which bothers me because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Um, I should have said this at the beginning, but when you're recording, I highly recommend that you go in a smaller room if you can, like even a closet works, to get some flashlights, right? And just um, because basically the smaller the room is, the less sound there, the less... Uh, area there is for the sound to travel. So right now I'm in my bedroom. And so the sound is kind of bouncing off the walls, giving it that echoey sound. So um, something for you to consider. So I like that wind sound. Um, and I'm wanting it to continue the whole time because I'm in the forest the whole time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and see when I hover there, it says loop. Loop means that it's, you know, creating the same thing over and over. So I'm just going to drag that out until the very end, right when I kind of stop talking there. Okay. So let's just... This is just my time to be free and to forget about how hard things have been. In the okay, so that's good. So I also, I want to try uh, to put an, an instrumental music track in there. But I don't want to do it with the loops that are here. So I'm going to show you one extra thing. We're going to go to the YouTube audio library. Okay. This is a great library of free music that you can use for whatever projects you are working on. So um, let me kind of show you how this looks. Let me show you how this works. So I'm going to click here, search or filter library. I first of all want to make sure that I'm on attribution not required. To attribute to someone um, or something means that you're giving that person credit. And so um, I don't want to have to credit any of the artists that I'm using their songs for. So I'm going to click attribution not required. 
Then I'm going to click here and I'm going to go to genre and I'm going to do ambient. Like I, for mine, I, using something like dance and electronic makes no sense. It's like, there I was in the woods. Like, no, that, that's not, that doesn't work. I might do cinematic. I'm going to try ambient and then I'm going to click apply. Then I'm going to click here again and I'm going to do mood. And I think I'm going to do like, I'm going to do calm. And then I'm just going to search for something. So let's, let's look here. not bad but the instruments in there don't really make sense with it does not really jiving for me basically that's okay it's a little intense though let me try another one okay yeah, so I'm liking this one. This fit this fits my my theme. But look, I have so many options. So usually if I'm doing this, I'm going to spend a little more time listening, but since I'm recording, I'm just going to get this one. So I'm going to click this button. That's going to download it. Take the song off the computer and put it on my computer. Uh, I'm sorry. Take it off the internet and put it on my computer. Now I'm going to go back here. Oh my gosh, and I just noticed something. Look at this. I made a big boo boo. I can't believe I just said boo-boo. I'm going to click here because I need to name this. So um, I'm going to name it Mr. Bishop. What's this uh, called? The story? Um, walking with my thoughts. Should have, should have been saving that as we go through. So I'm going to save that. You really want to make sure that you're saving because you don't want to lose your progress on this. Um, and you want to click save um, frequently as you're going because, um, yeah, working on this for a long time and then accidentally like your computer shuts down, you lose your progress. It's it's one of the worst feelings ever. So, OK, so now I need to put this sunrise in Paris on here. I don't know. Can I drag this? Oh, my gosh, I can. So I, that's one thing you can do. You can click and you can drag this and it will put the song on here. Um, but in case you, you don't see yours down here, this is what you do. You do add new track, import file, choose files, and then you're gonna go to your downloads, wherever you put the file, and then you're gonna click on that song, and there it is. So I want to start this maybe a little bit after the wind, so we're kind of layering this a little bit. I also don't want this to be too loud. So let's go to the beginning. Let's just listen. Walking with my thoughts by Mr. Bishop. I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. There right in front of my eyes was a majestic buck. I had walked this trail hundreds of times before, but never had I seen something like this. As I stood there, the buck stood his ground at the top of the hill, looking directly into my eyes. In that moment, it felt like he knew all of the world's secrets, everything that any man, woman, or animal would ever need to know. And then I snapped out of my trance as it hit me like a ton of bricks. So and remember, keeping in mind as you're going through, you want the hero, you want the star of this story to be you and your voice and your words, right? So like, listen to this. Does this make me the star? I should be extremely careful around this book. No, that makes this that makes the song the star. Okay, and that's not what we want. So we want to make sure that it's not overwhelming. Now, another thing I want you to take a look at here, you'll notice that um, right around this point in the song, it starts getting louder. I'm going to just solo this so you can kind of hear this. So that's when a beat comes in. So what you can do if you're afraid of this getting a little too loud is again, you can click on this track file. You can edit split region, and then I'm gonna actually just, uh, I am going to add a new track. I'll just, whatever, doesn't matter what you put it as. And then I'm just gonna drag this down here. And then if I want to, I can reduce the volume of this even more than the last one so that it's not quite as loud. So I slowly backed away from the buck, carefully looking over my shoulder to ensure that I wouldn't run into anything behind me. 
All I wanted to do was return home. I went on this walk every morning to clear my head and to forget about- Okay, so that's sounding good so far. So now you'll notice though, from here to here, I have a big gap. So now I need to make a decision. Am I going to put this same song in again? Am I gonna put in a different song? Um, am I going to just leave it blank? So let's just listen and see. I said, please don't hurt me. I won't do anything to you. I just want to continue back down the trail. The buck just stared. He did not look threatened or threatening, but he just continued looking at me. I continued. Hmm. So I'm, I'm kind of at a crossroads. I'm not sure if I want to add in another, um, another piece here or not. I don't go on this walk looking for trouble. So I think I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight both of these. I'm going to edit and copy and I'm going to paste them in again. Cause I, I think I want to continue that. I think I want to continue them. So now I'm going to click paste. Ouch. Bursting at the seams with tracks here. Please paste only on the first track and make sure there's enough room. Okay. So it wants me to just do once at a time, one at a time. So I'll copy this one. And I'll go here and then I'll click paste. And for some, oh, there, I paste both of them this time. I don't know why. Okay. So let's listen here. Down the trail. So you see there's this big gap, there's this big gap here. So I'm going to just bring that back. Anything to you. I just want to continue back down the trail. The buck just stared. And then you'll notice, look at this, this is perfect because this ends kind of right where my story ends. You are as free as you allow yourself to be. When I had finished reading, I turned around. The buck was gone. So perfect. You see that? That is so good because it 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 shut off right when the buck left, which is a really cool way to end it. So what I what I would do now is I would listen through the whole thing, just make sure that it's all good, do any last minute tweaks that I need to, save, right? Like I forgot to do before, and then. Once that's done saving, it might say mixing up here. Yeah, see, so it's saying mixing. When it says mixing like that, it's not going to let you download this onto your computer yet. So you have to wait until that's gone. But basically what I'm going to do in order for this audiobook to be done is I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to export and then I'm going to export project to MP3 file. So every file has a different extension. So, um, you know, like a picture file is .jpg, uh, a Word document is .doc or .docx, uh, a movie file can be .mov for move. Um, this uh, audio file is an MP3 file. So like usually a song or a podcast will be in MP3 format. You can also do it in WAV, but um, MP3 is a little bit more popular of a way to do it. So you'll click this once this mixing is gone. And then that is going to allow you to download it right onto your computer. And then from that point on, you can share it with whomever. In our case, you're going to um, add it to the assignment page um, and then turn it in. And then we'll continue working with this from that point on. So yeah, that's the basics of how you do that. It's super, super fun. It just, I love this because it allows you to be really creative um, and just really explore your imagination and get as deep with it as you want to. So um, I hope this was helpful for you and I'm super excited to see what you guys come up with uh, with your audiobook. So yeah, uh, have a great day. Have fun with this and take care and we will see you soon. Goodbye.